Alrighty then, everyone, time to start out on chapter 3 of Maggie's Movies Camera Action. Level 21. Side objective get three quick bonuses. We are back in Hollywood. We have food, makeup assets. Oh, that's the food, accessories, snacks, stuffs. Right, waves of love. <clears throat> Maggie! Vicky! It's so good to see you! How are things? Well, the crew's threatening to strike unless they get paid soon. Clyde is having artistic differences with our two leads. And you need to watch your back because Andrea's telling tales about you. She's gunning for your job. Chapter 3, Louisiana set. Oh, and uh, <laughs> welcome back. To Hollywood, pretty much. I don't understand. Have I signed on to direct another Three Stooges film? Clyde, read the script. It's clearly a comedic scene. Don't be fatuous. I won't have my vision compromised. Guys. Just shoot the scene both ways. Ah, oh, I see. Waste even more of my precious time. How wonderful. Nice try, Maggie. Get three quick bonuses. The boat. Welcome to your family lands, my son. You mean not the Perkins lands? Cheerful as always. Anne Bradley asked about you. She will be very happy to meet you. This goat? I'd rather spend my time counting cattle instead. But it's good to be back, mother. Gutto butto. And let it stay that way. Listen, do you remember Anne Bradley? She asked about you. I think she'd be happy to see you. This goat? Why would I? However, it's good to be back, mother. I just realized they did it two different ways there, so... Fish unlocked.
<clears throat> We're the man you respect our rights! Maggie, where have you been? No more free work! No more unpaid overtime! My grandfather passed away, remember? Oh yes, um... My condolences and all. But I don't think you noticed how serious the situation is. Our senior is going to shut us down if we don't get the film back on track. That means everyone will be out of a job, and you can forget about your spot on the director's chair. We are worthy more- worth more than that than this pesky dog! Alright, I'll handle it. But only if we do things my way. First, you back pay the crew's wages and overtime. But we're already over budget, and... We are artists, not kids! Well, actually, if kid- Kids who work should also be paid and not do it. Like, anyone who does work should be paid accordingly. <sighs> okay, fine. Great news! Everybody's getting paid! Now back to work! What are you doing? It's 12 15, we're on our lunch break. Level 22, side objective. Don't let Clyde or the actors get angry. Yes, please, crawfish. Um... Psst, can I have a word with you? Oh, sure. You're Maggie, right? The assistant director? Uh, of course, Catherine. Uh, is something wrong? It's my character, Hester. She's vastly underwritten. I agree. I've tried to bring her more substance. But every time I stray from the script, I get shut down by Frank and Clyde. I'll have a word with Clyde. Would you? That would be so great! He can be a tad difficult. Really? I hadn't noticed. Ooh, there's a hat now. I'm so happy to see you again. I told you, we are destined to be with each other. It's written in the stars. Look to the sky. Oh, you are so wise. What? Shush, my dear. Let's enjoy this moment. Okay. That was awkward. Even without me reading it awkwardly on purpose. You are so wise. What? Ah, 
Oh, Robert, I'm so happy to see you again. Okay, it's just the same thing. You are so wise. Oh my goodness. What? Because he told you to look at the at the clouds? Come on. Shush, my dear. Let's enjoy this moment. Oh, I'm sorry. She's not allowed to speak. Only you are. I don't know. This scene in particular felt really BS to me, but all right. I know I really need the counter to pick these things up faster because this is ridiculous. And she needs to walk faster. Come on. in to see if I could help. Well, there is one thing you could do. Anything, name it. Go back to LA. But, 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 but why? We're over budget and behind schedule. I can't afford to have someone helping me that I can't trust. Okay. Look, I'm really sorry. Please, give me a second chance. Oh yeah? Why should I? Because I want to help you save this film. And I know that only you can do it. <sighs> okay, one more chance. I won't let you down, Maggie. I promise! I don't remember exactly everything that they said about her in the Who's Who, but I feel like Andrea is a bit more trustworthy than Susan, in a sense. <clears throat> because Susan's just looking out for herself, and Andrea's too, but I feel like Andrea's way of looking out for herself is a bit more genuine, it's less schemey. <clears throat> it's a more it's a more straightforward. You it's, she's easier to read and know where you have her. I don't know. <clears throat> Level twenty three side objective serve only full orders. Oh please, I do that all the time. Game like ain't hey, nothing new. Oh please, these high class counters let you collect items faster while the soothing music makes clients more patient. Thank you. Clyde, may I speak to you for a moment? We have a problem with Hester, our female lead. Right now, she's coming off as merely a sounding board for the male lead. Ah, oh, I thought you said we had a problem. Oh my god. Can we not? Can someone accidentally throw Clyde in the lake, please? I don't know if you've noticed... But our audience for this film is over 70% female. They want a strong female lead. 
Not your objectifying bullshit. Lose them, and this film tanks at the box office. Maybe you could take just a few cues from Catherine? Actors are children! Oh, and what? You don't throw ta you don't throw tantrums. You order them around. You don't ask for their opinion. Whoa, 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 whoa! You think that's what you do with children? Well, I hope you don't have any, because that is not what children are. They're not servants. They are fully capable human beings, and you listen to them just as you do to anyone else. They're not servants. You have like two thousand and seven issues. Please leave. Well, at least you're happy to see me, Hitchcock. Ow. I hit myself in the head to hurt. Ow. I did my face palm. Ow. Okay, some crawfish on set, I see. Frog legs unlocked. Alrighty then. Is something wrong, my beloved? I'm worried about mother. Why? Is she sick? No, but she's up to something and I don't like it. I think she wants me to marry Anne Bradley. For some reason, only her and my father knows. I hope not. I wouldn't survive without you. Don't bother your head with that matter. I will figure something out. Don't bother your head with this matter. What, you couldn't find anything more offensive? To write right there? Really? Well, now we know how Clyde views women. You know, she, Hester as a character is literally just there to... She's like... A prop for the male lead, basically. Just, just like, stroking his ego. Just like, oh, I couldn't live without you. Oh, you're so wise. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I can't think for myself. Blah, 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 blah. watching in the capacity of being a decent human being and actually respecting other people 
No matter their gender. Thanks! Can you leave it in the storage room? Okay. You're my cookies and cream, girl. My every fantasy. Alrighty, then. Okay, if you don't like your ringtones, and change it. Hi, Maggie, it's Michael. Michael, how are you? Great, actually, thanks to you. I mean, I heard Al Jr. was a generous man. About one million? Now he tells me he's been talking to Jennifer and Leo for the leads. Wow, I mean, I don't know what to say. Anyway, look, next time you're in LA, I'd love to take you to dinner to celebrate. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Oh boy. My directorial debut is at a million dollars and it's not even out of pre production. Well, Junior, I hope you know what you're doing. Oh, he doesn't. He hopes that you know what you're doing. Heck, I hope I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I think that's the bigger issue here. <laughs> Alright, well, this movie is apparently a load of trash, so we know that now. Anyways, that is it for this episode, so thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see ya!